Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Megan and I do fitness and beauty related videos. But as you can t see, today we are going to be doing a fitness workout for you. Um, so I am doing a build a booty at home or really anywhere type workout, um, as you'll see. Most of the movements that I actually did in a gym setting, but you certainly don't have to. All the workouts that I did don't require any equipment whatsoever. Um, they're just full body weight workouts. I did modify some to show you body weight workouts. If you have bands, I showed you how to do it banded. Um, I showed you some that maybe are a little bit more high intensity in case you are looking to ramp it up. Um, but this is a great workout to do if you are limited with space or time. Um, you can do them you know, really anywhere anytime you can do them for the four sets of 10 to 12 like I did or you can do it like three sets of 15 you can do less um, and add some weights or you can you know do more reps and no weights it's totally up to you sorry about that Nick walked into the room and it was super awkward for a second um, anyway um, so like I was saying you can modify this in any way possible that you would like um, but I will do a voiceover for you guys and actually walk you through the different steps um, some of them you could do back to back. Um, I did superset most of the of the workouts, um, but you certainly don't have to. Um, you can do them in individual workouts, whatever is best for you. Do them for time, do them for reps, whatever is easiest. Like I said, keep an eye out though. It is build your booty at home. I will be doing a couple more um, fitness related videos that you can do from home and then maybe mix it up and do a couple that you can do from the gym just with added weights. I just have to figure out how to um, film it at the gym because my gym you can't film at and the one that I've started going to is a little bit busier. Um, yeah, so I'll figure it out for you guys if you guys wanna see that. But um, this one will be an at home, and next one will be an at home as well, and then I'll try to figure out what I can do. Um, but before we do go, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, leave comments below on what you want to see, uh, because without your opinions and your advice, I won't know what to do for you guys. I'll just continue doing what I know until you tell me otherwise. Um, but yeah, click subscribe, click the notification bell, comment below, and without further ado, let's get on to the video. Bye guys. So the first exercise that we are starting with is a body weight squat. I will show you guys three different movements that you can do to get the same effect. The first, like I said, is a body weight squat, slow and controlled about one and a half to two seconds down and quickly go up. You will do this four rounds of about 12 reps. Now, if you want to amp it up just a little bit and you actually do have bands, go ahead and put a band around your around the widest part of your um, quads and again, do some body weight squats. Four reps of 12 rounds, but guys, we are actually, after every single round, going to be supersetting this with an exercise that will come after the squats. Um, like I said, there's three different exercises. You can do a body weight, you can do a banded, or if you want, we can actually do remove the band and do a jump squat as you see here. So go ahead and remove the band and just simply do some jump squats. This is going to raise your heart rate quite rapidly as well as burn out your quads and your booty. So as soon as you guys are done with the first round of this, you're going to immediately go into a 45 second wall sit. Go ahead and lean against a wall, a mirror, anything that's stable for you and just sit at that 90 degree angle. You can do it weighted, not weighted. As you see here, I could not do it weighted. I was pretty burnt out by that point. Um, but for 45 seconds, hold it and you'll do that immediately after your first round of that squat. When you're done this, pause 30 seconds, give it a 30 second break, and then immediately go back into that body weight squat, superset again with a wall set. Do these for four rounds, 12 reps. Our second workout is going to start with kneeling to standing squats, supersetted with kickbacks. As you see here, I am starting on my right foot, um, quickly kneeling and then standing into a 90 degree angle. I do five reps and then switch to my left side here, where I first step up with my left foot into a 90 degree angle. You'll complete this for 10 to 12 reps and then immediately go in to our superset of kickbacks. Our first exercise that I'm showing you is going to be um, on my hands and knees. This is going to be the easiest one, more for beginners. You see here that I am kicking straight up in the air with a straight leg, but I am mixing up a bit by going back and forth with it. Um, one full rep is going to be kicking up with my on the right side and then on the left side. You can see the crossover over my back foot here. Completed this for a full round 
of 12 to 16 reps. Take a 30 second break and then immediately go back to the kneeling to standing squat. If you want to ramp it up and put a little bit of resistance on, go ahead and stand up, throw on a resistance band, light to medium, so you can still get that 12 to 16 reps in. You'll stand on one foot. If you need to hold on for balance, go ahead. Here I am not, but it is really going to burn out your right booty as well as sculpt your left side here. You'll go, go ahead and do 12 to 16 reps on each leg. And then immediately go ahead and do a 30 second rest before going back into the kneeling to standing. Here I'm just showing you another angle of the same exercise. Again, 12 to 16 reps on each side. This one you're throwing in a couple of pulses every about four kickbacks. And finally, we're on to our last supersetted exercise here. We are doing a double lunge, back lunge, and then back curtsy lunge. That is one full rep. You'll do this about 10 to 12 times on each leg, and then switch to the other leg, and then immediately superset it into a glute bridge. As soon as you're done doing 10 to 12 reps on each side, you'll immediately go into a glute bridge. This first one that I'm showing you is for beginners, two feet planted on the ground. Make sure that you are lifting your hips up to fall in line with the rest of your body. You want to make sure that you are making a straight line. Complete this 10 to 12 times, take a 30 second rest, and then immediately go back into your lunge. Here I am amping it up by doing a single leg glute bridge. Simply lift the one of your legs up for 10 to 12 times, put the other leg down, and then lift the other leg up. And our last variation of this exercise is going to be our most challenging. It is an incline single leg, leg glute bridge. You'll see here I do have my foot planted firmly on a higher surface and lifting up my leg um, with my planted foot. Again, do this 10 to 12 times on each leg, take a 30 second break, and then immediately go back into the lunge. Now that you are finally done all of these supersetted exercises, we are going to go ahead and burn out those legs. We're gonna go move into crushing those abductors by doing single leg raises. Lay on one side of your body. Um, make sure it is stable and simply lift your leg straight up in the air 10 to 12 times. Lay, switch over and go ahead and do the other side. If you want to ramp it up and you do have bands, go ahead and just sit on the very edge of a surface. Put the bands around the widest part of your um, quads and simply squeeze outwards. I do suggest using a medium to heavy weight on this and do about 10 to 12 reps. Complete this as many rounds as you would like. I did about two to three rounds before being completely done. And that's it guys, that's the end of my workout. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you guys are able to build a booty at home. See you guys next time, bye.